<laughs> All new on Wake Up. We're doing it wrong. That's what so many of the videos on social media want you to believe. Now, some of the tips work, some don't, and others, well, you'd be hard pressed to replicate the results, unless you have a lot of time. News Force Katie Alexander has one of the latter for us and the expert advice to help you do it at home yourself. Katie? Yeah, Brittany and Jordan, it's going to take time and it's going to take a lot of skills. Like this gentleman definitely has. He is amazing with these pineapples. He can core them, slice them into sections, get them ready to go to the customer so fast without ever having to slice the side of these pineapples open. It's, it truly is amazing to see. But let's face it, his knife is incredibly sharp and he is incredibly good at this. Most of us run the risk of slicing a finger open before we perfect this technique. So Chef Ben Loomis at the Niagara Falls Culinary Institute has another strategy that's easier and safer for you to try at home. And step one, he says, is to twist off this green part at the top. You can also just cut it off because you have to start by taking the top and bottom parts off anyway. We just a nice flat cut on top and bottom, okay? Pull these off to the side, don't crowd your board. Then, Chef Luma says, you should peel the whole thing. Use your knife to slice off the outer layer with cuts that follow the curve of the fruit from the top to the base. And I just want to go to get through these little uh, spots here. And the trick to getting a good yield would be not to take too big of bites with your knife. That would be one thing that people might do wrong is cut too deep and try to just take it off in four wax and you end up throwing away half your pineapple. Making those little slices, work your way around the pineapple until you're down to the bare fruit, flesh and core. Now cut it straight down the middle of that core and cut it in half again, leaving it in quarters. And you're left with this triangle core right here. Safest and quickest way to get that off, put it on the board, Knife tip on the board, and then just slide it back and through. Repeat that for the rest of the quarters, then slice away to the shape and size you want. This is if you're doing like a fruit display and you're trying to do something a little bit nicer. Simple, effective, and safe. As Chef Loomis has said, you're only doing it wrong if it's dangerous. And that brings us back to the sharp knife. Uh, all of the experts say a dull knife is unsafe because you don't have the same control. Plus, a dull knife makes slicing pineapple infinitely harder. Sharp knife makes it so much easier. So does using a knife that's too small. That's going to make it too hard for you to do. So if you want to learn more about the right way to do things in the kitchen, the Niagara Falls Culinary Institute does offer all sorts of classes to the public. You can learn more with the Founded on Four section of our website, WIVB.com. Jordan and Brittany, you want some? I, I would love some sure. Pineapple. All right, well, it's going to take me a little bit to cut the core here, but I am excited because honestly, I've never been able to do this before. I you think part good. of it is I've only done dull knives, and it, it really does. It changes your life to have a nice, mm -hmm. sharp knife. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and in the meantime, Britt, we, we, want people, we want you watching at home to get involved, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Please share your, vi your videos with us if you have any of them. Post your videos on our Facebook page, and you can even see them here on Wake Up. Katie's still chopping over there. All right, we have a lot to get to at 6.30 this morning.